Hello. Now we're talking about electoral systems. But before we go into that, let us talk about franchise. Franchise is defined as the right of all adult qualified citizens or adult qualified citizens of a particular country or a particular society to vote and be voted for in an election. Now there are two types of franchise. You have the universal franchise and the limited franchise. Franchise can also be called suffrage. Now, in the limited franchise, only a select few citizens are permitted to vote. And these citizens, they've um, met some conditions to be able to vote. So these conditions might be age, it might be um, sex, it might be um, ownership of property, or it might be religion. Now, this kind of system or this kind of suffrage or franchise is good in the sense that these people make more informed decisions, they make more informed choices, and there is no um, violence associated with voting when you have universal or unlimited suffrage. But it's bad because these few voters can be bribed, and this kind of system doesn't make for popular or wide participation. And when this doesn't allow popular or wide participation, there's heavy political apathy. Now, let's talk about universal or unlimited um, adult suffrage. Now, here, qualified adults of a particular society are allowed to vote without having any restrictions based on their size, their sex, or their religion. As long as they are of age, as long as they, are, they don't have criminal conduct, as long as they, do not, they are of mental capability, they can vote. Now, this system is good because it allows wide participation. It makes for a wider representation. The people actually get to make their own election. They get to vote their, their candidates who they want to win. But it's bad because many of these people vote blindly and there's always malpractice and violence attracted or attached to this kind of system. In our next video, we're talking about electoral systems.